And we're back. Welcome back to Good Day. Hey, listen, we're here in uh, Atwater, about five miles outside of Merced, here at the Castle Air Museum. This is fantastic. You get to be up close and personal with these great planes from World War II, from Vietnam, and from, from many other type of things. There's also the Blackbird, we're on the other side there, Air Force One, so many different things. This plane here, the, the, not this actual plane, but this is the type of planes that the Tuskegee Airmen used to fly where they had their runs and their protection bombings and, and all that. It's pretty cool. I'm learning a lot of history from Joe Prusso. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing fine, Al. Good yeah. to have you here. Yeah, so this is one of the Tuskegee Airmen's type of planes, and also there was, they also have some trainers here that were here too, right? Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, what you see over to my left here, the BT-13, they would train with at Tuskegee, Alabama, and also uh, on the other side of the Flying Fortress there, the uh, T-6 trainer. Oh, okay. So uh, once you completed that training, you went on to fighters or to the medium bombers. Yes, let's 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 uh, go this way and, yes, and see a lot of things. There's so there's how are you guys able to get these actual planes and then on top of that be able to refurbish them so they're because some of them can still actually fly. You just won't do it, but they're <laughs> no. they're 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 fly worthy. Uh, uh, there is a few. Uh, uh, most of them flew. A lot of them flew in, and uh, a lot of them were trucked in in pieces. So uh, it could be upwards of uh, 25 to 30,000 volunteer hours to put an airplane back together mm. and for static display purposes. Uh, but many of the airplanes here flew in. Uh, they towed over from the runway when this was an uh, active Air Force base. It's still an active airport, okay. so we have that capability. Uh, the Flying Fortress right over here, uh, off to my left, of course, was the first airplane that flew in here. Okay. Um, we're coming up now to the gift shop, which uh, is also always a, a must stop. Absolutely. Uh, as we... Because uh, well, you guys do more than just, uh, obviously, sell the gifts, but you also have talks with the actual we, people who were there, the actual pilots, which is actually really fascinating. Yes, we do. Uh, it's We offer an educational experience, uh, not only through... Um, uh, history and mm -hmm. people who are actually there, but from people who, um, you know, can talk about the technology, the advancements in technology. Mm. How did we go from uh, canvas and wood to titanium and, and carbon fiber and, and composites? So those are all things that we teach here. Um, we get about 4,000 school children a year through here from, mm. you know, throughout the, you know, San Joaquin Valley. So uh, it's very important that they know uh, from whence we came, our history, and how important it is not to forget it and not, and not to repeat it. Very important, very important. So uh, uh, the thing is, this site is huge, but 70 planes, so many aircraft, and uh, coming up in the 10 o'clock hour, yes. we're going to go down to back to the garage because there's a bunch of planes and a bunch of aircraft that just came in from Hawaii that we're going to show off in the next hour. This is going to be pretty cool. You're very correct. We'll see the first of five that are due oh, to come yes. in. Oh, yes. Back over to you guys. All right, Al. Thank you. Thank you. 